If you've been wanting to set up an online store but aren't really sure how to get started, you're in the right place. When I first got into e-commerce, I struggled to find real advice and watch tons of tutorials that looked promising but didn't really help me get the results I wanted as far as sales. But after a lot of trial and error and years and years of experience, I figured out for myself what actually works. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through every step of launching a Shopify store. We're gonna break it all down and look at different selling methods along with some helpful marketing techniques that actually bring in traffic and sales. So whether you're just testing out a side hustle or aiming to grow a serious operation, this tutorial is gonna help give you the direction you've been looking for to get your store off the ground and ready to sell. Now, if you wanna follow along with this video in real time, then you can sign up and get started with Shopify by using the affiliate link listed down in the description on top of their three-day free trial. It'll get you your first three months of service for just $1 a month. So make sure to take advantage of this offer and save yourself a few extra bucks. And if you really wanna dig into the details, we even have a more in-depth tutorial on how to get your online business off the ground with Shopify link down in the description below for you to go check out. All right, now before we jump into the actual setup, let's briefly look at what Shopify is and why it's such a popular choice for online stores. So Shopify is a fully hosted cloud-based platform that's built specifically to support e-commerce. It takes care of all the behind the scenes work like server maintenance, security updates, and software patches. So you don't have to manage any of that. Plus. You can log in from any browser to make changes whenever you need it, and everything stays synced whether you're selling online or in person. Now what makes Shopify especially beginner friendly is how everything is built into one clean dashboard. You can choose a theme, move a few sections around to match your brand, and preview it on mobile all without touching any code. On top of that, their checkout is fast, secure, and supports Shop Pay, Apple Pay, and regular credit cards right out of the box. So, now let's get started and walk through how to set up your brand new Shopify store from scratch. So after heading to Shopify's website using the link below, you're gonna enter in your details, click on the grow plan and your free trial will kick off. Right away, Shopify is gonna ask you a few quick questions like what kind of products you're selling and how you plan to sell them. You can pick whatever you think fits for now, like drop shipping, physical products, digital downloads, or even services. None of it is set in stone and we'll take a closer look at some of those options later on in more detail. Now to actually start building your site, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to the products tab and click add product. Even if you don't have your real products ready yet, just upload something basic as a placeholder like a t-shirt or anything simple. This unlocks the rest of the settings and makes your dashboard feel way more usable. After that, head on over to themes. Shopify gives you a bunch of free mobile optimized templates to try out and customizing them is very simple. You can drag and drop sections, adjust fonts and colors and shape everything to fit your brand. Just try not to overdo it all at once. Now, trust me, too many edits back to back can slow you down more than it helps. Next, you're gonna to wanna to set up your custom domain directly inside Shopify. This only takes a few clicks but it can take a little time to fully go live, so it's smart to do that early on and let it run in the background. And while that's processing, go ahead and activate Shopify payments to avoid extra fees from third-party gateways. You can also enable PayPal or Afterpay depending on what your audience prefers. Then just double check your tax and shipping settings to make sure everything's set up correctly. Once that's all done, flip your store status to active and that's it, your storefront is officially live and ready to start taking orders. All right, so, now that you've gotten your store off the ground, let's take a look at Shopify's pricing model and some of the different plans that can sign up with once the initial trial period is up. Now, if you're just testing things out, maybe sharing products through socials like Instagram, WhatsApp, or TikTok, the starter plan at just five bucks a month will give you what you need to create simple product links without building out a full website. But for running a proper online store, there are three main plans to choose from. Starting with the basic plan at around 30 bucks a month, it's gonna give you all of the essential tools you'll need to start selling, like unlimited products, standard card processing fees of 2.9% and up to 10 inventory locations. The next tier up is the Grow plan, which costs around 80 bucks per month. This one provides better shipping discounts and lowers the third-party payment fee while adding five staff accounts. So it's a great fit if your sales are picking up and you're shipping regularly. Now finally, there's the advanced plan at around $300 a month, which unlocks upgraded features along with lower card fees at 2.5% and third-party fees at just 0.6%. It's definitely a bigger jump, but if your store is doing serious volume, it can actually save you money in the long run. 
Now, as a reminder, you can get started with any of these plans for free with Shopify's three-day trial before enjoying three months of service at just $1 a month by checking out the affiliate link below. This gives you plenty of time to create your store and start selling before you have to make any noticeable financial commitments. Now let's dig a little deeper and explore some of the ways you can start selling on Shopify. So you might already have a specific product in mind, but if you're starting from scratch or are looking to branch out, there are four main selling models to work with. Drop shipping, print on demand, selling your own products, and selling digital products or services. Each one works a little differently and some require more hands-on involvement than others. First up, let's talk drop shipping, which is where a lot of beginners start, mainly because there's no upfront inventory cost. You just connect to a supplier app like Deezers or Zendrop, import the products you want into your store, set your prices, and well, that's it. Then when someone places an order, the supplier packs and ships it under your brand so you don't have to touch a thing. It's very low maintenance, but not without its trade-offs. For once, shipping can be slow, especially from overseas suppliers and product quality can really vary. So you wanna take care to test some samples on your own. But if you want more reliability, you can opt for private label suppliers or tap into Shopify's collective for US-based products, which tend to have faster shipping and better margins. Next, there's print on demand, which is great if you're a little more creative or already have a bit of an audience. And with apps like Printful, you can upload your designs to things like t-shirts, mugs, or phone cases, and the app handles everything else, mock-ups, orders, printing, and shipping. You don't need to deal with inventory or sizing, and it's super easy to launch new products. The downside is that printing one item at a time costs more than buying in bulk, which makes for a thinner profit margin. So you wanna price carefully and always order samples to check quality. And a good way to stand out is by offering personalization like custom names or even adding small digital extras like matching wallpapers to increase value without extra cost. Now, of course, you have the option of selling your own physical products, meaning you'll need to stock your own inventory. While this setup gives you the most control and the best profit potential, it also is the most hands-on. But even if you're packing and shipping from home, Shopify will still make things easy. You can print discounted shipping labels, track orders, and keep inventory synced across your store, social channels, and even in-person sales with Shopify's POS system. And once your volume grows, you can hand off the heavy lifting to Shopify's fulfillment network. Just send your products over to the warehouse and they'll handle packing, shipping, and even returns. There are storage and handling fees to factor in, but it saves you time and gives you full control over your packaging and your branding experience. Lastly, there's digital products or services which removes shipping from the equation entirely. So you just need to create a product listing, turn off shipping and upload your file like an ebook, an online course, or a template. And once someone buys, Shopify automatically emails them the download link. The best part here is that you only need to create this type of product once so you can keep selling it endlessly with almost no extra work. Here's the thing, you don't have to limit yourself to just one method. You can start with drop shipping to test demand layer on print on demand to build brand identity, move into your own inventory as things grow and sprinkle in digital products for passive income. Shopify makes it easy to manage all of these options just in one place with real time syncing, built in analytics and apps that can help you scale as your business evolves. All right, now once your store is live, the real challenge begins getting people to actually find it and more importantly, buy from it. So one of the first things I recommend from here is building up a unique brand identity and telling a clear story around your business. If a shopper can't figure out within a few seconds why your product is different or better than the next option, then they're scrolling past, they'll just move on. So make your message clear and memorable. For example, if you're selling eco-friendly skincare, lead with that in your bio, on your homepage, and right at the top of each product description. Keep that message consistent wherever people land within your store. Next, social proof is huge. After someone places an order, be sure to follow up with a quick email asking how their experience was. Once you collect a few solid reviews, showcase them right under your add to cart button or near the price. It's way more convincing than just offering 10% off. Real honest feedback gives hesitant buyers the push that they need. Speaking of nudges, don't sleep on abandoned cart emails. Shopify email makes it very easy to automate these. Set it to trigger a few hours after someone leaves their cart behind. Include the extra items they didn't check out with and maybe toss in a free shipping code or a limited time discount. Even a simple message like, 
still thinking it over, can bring people back. Also, make sure your products are showing up where your audience already spends their time. Inside Shopify's admin, you can connect your catalog directly to Instagram and TikTok so your products can be tagged in reels, stories, or even TikTok videos. So if someone sees your viral mug or custom phone case in a post, they can tap and buy it instantly without even leaving the app. In the end, just be intentional. Keep testing and playing around with these strategies and your results will build over time. So that wraps up this walkthrough on how to start selling with Shopify, from setting up your store to making your first sales and finding your place in a competitive market. Follow the steps, stay consistent, and you'll be well on your way to turning your business goals into real world sales. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more just like this. Now, before I go, don't forget to take advantage of Shopify's three day free trial, as well as their introductory deal, which gives you the first three months of service at just $1 each. You can access both these deals and start building up your online store by using the affiliate link in the description below. Plus, like I mentioned, we have a detailed step-by-step -step guide for Shopify link down below as well. So make sure to check it out if you want some more in-depth guidance throughout your setup. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, so go ahead and leave any questions or comments down below, and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.